Robson saves the game for the Monarchs, and the Dockhounds walk off a thriller. Welcome to the American Association with Brown on this Sunday. What a Saturday night it was in the Association last night. Two extra inning games. We'll get to that, but let's start off in Gary. Game three between the Dogs and Railcats from the Steel Yard. And how about John Sheeks for Gary? Seven shutout innings, allowing just four hits and seven strikeouts. This would turn out to be a rain-shortened game, so Sheik's pitch all seven innings of this one. Jesus Mariaga attacks on another run for the Railcats with this RBI fielder's choice, beating out the throw to first. Gary wins two to nothing. To Sioux City, Salt Dogs and Explorers matching up. Game three of their set. one nothing. Explorers leading the third. Luke Roscom flips that around, giving Lincoln a 2-1 lead with this single. Fast forward to the seventh. Home run derby runner-up, Connor Panis hits one out to right. A two-run shot giving Lincoln a 6-1 cushion. They would go on to win this one by a 7-1 final. Go to Fargo. Cougars and Red Hawks matching up. Game three of their set. And Tyler Beardsley, fantastic once again. The All-Star with seven innings, just one earned run, four hits, four strikeouts on the night. As you see, Carell Prime getting into a pickle there. Go to the top of the fourth. Cougars break the scoreless tie. This is Todd Lott with a two-run single. Cougars go on to win this one by a 4-2 to two final. To Cleburne, Monarchs and Railroaders facing off in game two of their three-game weekend set. Two to nothing Monarchs lead, but Blaze Brothers ties it up with this two-run double as it gets by the center fielder. Bottom of the fifth, though, still tied at two. Chris Herman gives the Monarchs the lead they need with this sacrifice fly. A bottom of the ninth, runner at third with nobody out. How about this throw from Jacob Robson? Gunning down the runner, trying to score the tying run. The Monarchs hang on for a 3-2 win to even the series. To Milwaukee, game three between the Gold Eyes and Milkmen, and Winnipeg would storm ahead early. This is Jacob Bockley's second home run of the night already in just the third inning, a three-run shot. The Gold Eyes would go up 6 to nothing in this one, but Milwaukee storms back. Brian Torres here, a single with the bases loaded, bringing the Milkmen within one, scoring two runners go to the bottom of the ninth Milwaukee down one Aaron Hill ties it up an RBI single to not the score at seven runs apiece and send this one to extra innings where a wild pitch from Nate Hadley brings home Najee Gaskins to score the gold eyes win it eight to seven in ten finally to Lake Country our second extra inning game of the night between the Canaries and Doc Hounds top of the second Trevor Achenbach with his second home run in as many nights, giving the Canaries an early lead. Plenty of homers to go around in this one. This is Curtis Terry in the bottom of the fifth. One of two home runs for him on the night as well. Doc Allen's got a big lead, but the Canaries stormed back in the top of the eighth, down by just one. Shamoy Christopher hits this one deep out to center field. Originally, it appears to be a triple, but it would later be ruled a game-tying home run as it hit on top of the wall there. So we go to extras tied at 10, where Jax Groshans lays down a bunt, and the throw gets away, bringing home Brian Ray to score the walk-off run. The Dock Hounds win a thriller 11-10. to So here's your final scores from Saturday night. Kansas City and Lake Country even their three-game sets. Kane County, Lincoln, Milwaukee, and Chicago hold the two-game to one series lead in their four-game sets. Today, we've got a full day of action for you. Some daytime, some afternoon, some nighttime action. It all begins just in a little bit at that 1 p.m. window, and we've got one late game in Cleburne at 6 p.m. You can catch all the games today at aabaseball.tv or get your tickets last minute through the AA Baseball app. I'm Matt Yazel for the American Association, where we play to win.